Um, I was wondering um, what your suggestion would be if you're on the receiving end of, of someone, who, like if you're reliant on someone's giving to you, um, what's the best way to can, like I, I find with emotions a lot of the time the emotion will come up by confronting the person but I'm also afraid of projecting at them in that situation. So just say someone's giving a lot of things to you all the time and you can see that it's coming from some sort of erroneous place, um, but you're relying on that. Then you're in disharmony with love. I would instantly say to them, I'm sorry, but I can see that you're giving it and it's not coming from love, so I can't receive it even though I need it. And so if there's a lot of anger tied in with that, you're, con you're confronting the person it's like you, do, you have to run away before you even say anything <laughs> and if you're getting anger from the other person then address that too why are you angry with me now for, for knocking back something that's a gift if it was a gift you wouldn't be angry with me and that would actually confront the underlying emotion as to what you were feeling in the first place anyway so, so the, the truth is, Josh, that in the end, if somebody is giving something to you and you know they're not doing it out of love, they're doing it out of guilt, shame, whatever it is, your accepting it is actually breaking a law of love, whether you need that thing or not. Hmm. Okay, thanks for that. And then the question you need to ask yourself is, all right, I'm obviously accepting it thinking I'm not going to get it from any other location. <laughs> so therefore, my issue is a lack of abundance, and so forth, an emotion that I need to work my way through. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. So allow yourself to uh, see that whenever, whenever you notice another person doing something that they don't really desire to do, then you are actually harming them by accepting them doing it to you. Do, do you follow me? And let, uh, if you address the issue, then you'll find that everything will become more harmonious with love. Mary, I can feel Mary's projecting at me about our own situation in this one. Do you want to say something about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it. Was. I was just marvelling at my soulmate because you actually really do this. And when we first started a relationship, it was really challenging for me because I had a lot of pleasing people emotions. And so I was doing a lot of things that were actually what I thought would be pleasing AJ and because he's so sensitive he would be saying to me you don't actually want to do this we're not doing this yet. no no you can't do it. and so yeah. I was just um and what has that helped you do like it's helped you well look at my what my own desires are because I was someone who's completely um well very out of touch with what my true passions and desires were um because if, it if it was in any way impinging on anyone else, or what I felt other people want, wanted, I wouldn't allow myself to have You'd automatically do what they wanted. Yeah. 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 And Mary was so sensitive that she could feel what I wanted and automatically try to do it. And then I would feel, she's trying to do it. She doesn't really want it. So. <laughs> you have two really sensitive people. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and that just helps confront the fact that, you know, that what was happening with the desire. Does that make sense? So let yourself do that. And, and if somebody is trying to give something to you and you feel the desire to do it is not based on love, but it's based on... And a lot of times people will give to you because they want something from you, right? And this happens to myself and Mary quite, a, quite often, actually, where people do give us things, but they want our time in return. So it's not, it's not a gift anymore, right? We have to pay for it. And so, um, you know, usually what we try to do is reject those kind of transactions. Because obviously that's not a gift, that's an expectation. And that's not a loving thing. Even if we need the thing that we're being given. Mm. Thanks, mate. Um,